Well, good evening. Long haul tanker. Shaving with long haul tanker. We're on the road tonight again. We're in Elizabethtown, Kentucky. Love's truck stop shower room number one. And it's approximately 7.30, 7.45. We had good hot water in the shower tonight. And uh, good hot water in the bowl. Didn't come out with, in the sink. It didn't come out with much pressure, but it's always hit and miss in the truck stop. So we've got about 24 hours worth of growth on the face. Not hardly enough to shave, but it's just there. You know, it's right at that stage. Yeah, go ahead. Last night's shave was with the Wade and Butcher, one stone hone, honing from bevel set to, uh, to finish. And it gave me a great shave. Uh, but as with a lot of the naturals and codicles, it's right back in 24 hours. So anyway, we're good. We're happy to do it. We're going to do a light shake tonight that I might only do a couple of passes or whatever. Uh, but let's do the equipment check. We'll still, we're still working on the, uh, Sterling Soap Company, Haverford, uh, and you know, I got the, the soap on my collar here and that scent just stayed with me all day. I, I was catching whiffs of it all day while I was driving. Loved it. Uh, my brush tonight, also a Sterling Soap Company brush. Uh, it's about a, a 26 millimeter uh, knot. Uh, I don't believe they describe this as a premium silver tip, but I will say that tip, I mean, that brush is just fine. It's about a $50 brush. Uh, I got it about three, four years ago, and uh, it's just fine. I've got three Sterling Soap Company brushes, and uh, uh, let's see here, uh, 24, 24, and this 26. And for my razor tonight, we are using the Dovo Berkshire Low 5 eighths Spanish point. Look at those, look at that scale. Look at those scales, that scale. Those scales are beautiful. And I'll tell you, these pins, this, uh, this pin set, and that pin set are just ab on both sides are just absolutely flush with the scale. Uh, it's just beautiful, just beautiful. All right, uh, so we're going to lather up, get some soap water on there first. I want to say something about uh, just as a minor follow-up to last night. Last night was kind of negative, and sometimes you got to be negative, and that's all right. I got no problem with that. Uh, but one thing I wanted to address was more of a term of principle than than. Uh, one, I'm just not a big fan of the uh, uh, USB scopes and the. Uh, jewelers loops and I was thinking on that today why am I not it's not that they're not practical uh, uh, I would say that they're probably more for the professional taste or usage than the hobbyist because uh, you can do a fine job honing without you know all the gadgets and which and I've said this before elsewhere, I've certainly put it into writing elsewhere, uh, and that is, for me, since straight razor shaving is more about traditionalism, more about nostalgia, more about history, for me, it's not about the modern gadgets at all. It's about shaving like our great-grandfathers and our forefathers used to shave, uh, straight razor. Now, yeah, okay, I'm not going to get out of every parallel there, like horse 
hair brushes, World War One. Um, but uh, and so it's, but still, nonetheless, it is about the uh, history and the tradition. What did our forefathers use to hone a razor? Uh, uh, the soap that they used on their face. And how do they keep their razors sharp? You know, back at the turn of last century, you know, you got uh, the primary thing for the individual was the barber home, the barber's home, I guess. And the, uh, the user would take their brushes down to the barber shop when they, and the, bar, and the barber would hone them. He was the go-to guy, right? He was the go-to guy. I hardly put any soap on that brush and it's just lathering away. So the principle for me, and I've actually said these words in writing before, and that is steel, stone, leather. That's all you need. Steel, stone, leather. You don't need the, it's the same reason why I don't use, I've never been an advocate of the pastes and, and diamond sprays and film paper, uh, that kind of thing. You can pick up, my first stone was a uh, Norton uh, 4K, 8K, yellow on one side and white on the other. You know the one I'm talking about. And I dare say that's the one that a lot of us learn to hone on. <laughs> I've still got it. It's up in the top of the closet. I think I've used it maybe a dozen times back in 2015 until I got the first uh, the first Shaptons, the 1K, the 4K, uh, the 8K. Uh, then I filled those in with the, uh, the 2K, 16, and 30K. And that's my, and I added a uh, 500 to it as well. I don't use it much at all. All right, let's get started here. There was something else. Oh yeah, I got something else to say too that we can talk about. Now the edge on this, I'm not sure. Uh, it's either Arkansas or Cotical, but I don't remember. This is one of the earliest razors I bought in That's feeling like a codicle, nice and smooth, nice and smooth. Um, I enjoy watching the shaving videos. Uh, I've subscribed recently to uh, some of the rookies, you know, you watch the rookies and they've got three or four videos up, a half a dozen videos up. And uh, as long as, for me, the thing is about, are they using a straight razor? And uh, just for me, that's just my opinion. If they've got their videos mixed with straight razors and uh, DEs, I'm gonna pass them over. That's me, that's just me. Um, I also said, um,
that I was watching a guy by the name of Handel Barber Dave. And uh, good stuff. He promotes the, uh, the shaving cadre. I guess he's the head honcho, How about head barber, chief barber, whatever. He's got a little posse he runs with uh, at the Shaving Cadre, uh, three or, two or three guys there. Um, Major Dave, Nurse something, I think it's Dave also, but I'm not positive. And then another guy by uh, Bill M. They all got YouTube channels. And I've been watching a fair amount of Bill M. Now, I don't know who started watching who first, if I started watching Bill M or Bill M started watching me. We were shooting comments back and forth to each other, nice, pleasant, friendly. And uh, I had already joined the Shaving Cadre some weeks ago. I just haven't, I haven't posted. So tonight was the, while I was waiting for the shower, tonight was the first night that I actually made a posting introducing myself, who I am, blah, blah, blah. I just, uh, you know, the other forms left such a sour taste in my mouth. And uh, kind of like Jeff Fafa from last night. Does that make sense? <laughs> I have always been an advocate, and this is the big one that started ruffling my feathers, is um, Uh, advocating the uh, gold dollar as a beginning tool, uh, both in learning how to hone and how to shave. And oh, the blowback I got on it, you know. I said, y'all are crazy. And I'm still an advocate. Uh, I've got seven, no, 10 uh, gold dollars or union razors that the truck stops sell that are made in China. They're gold dollar imitations or whatever. In the truck stop, you can get a union razor 
substrate razor for uh, twelve ninety nine. Now, I don't care how cheaply you can pick up a vintage razor, $25, $30, learn to hone on that. You know, no. Just my opinion, you know. But expressing your opinion in some places as an opinion is not allowed. So a little bit of a shout out to the Shaving Congregate because I posted my first uh, posting over there and, and uh, we'll see what comes. Um, I've been asked by uh, one of my viewers, which I don't have a lot of, <laughs> uh, to talk about truck driving and life on the road, which I'm happy to do and will do. I had to get a shower and shave tonight because tomorrow night I'll be in a truck stop the night before delivery that's not a Lowe's and don't have access to showers. I'll be at this uh, Flying J truck stop uh, in Smithton, Smith, uh, Smithton, uh, Pennsylvania, uh, to the southeast side of Pittsburgh on I-70.
I suppose the first thing about being a truck driver is how much time you're away from home. And the young guys, you know, children will be children, but there's a reason, and the trucking companies do not do a good job um, in helping. There's, you know, it's 150, 200% turnover every year on some of the companies. Uh, it's not very often you find a guy like me, because I have different motivations, but who stays with the company for 10 plus years. Now at our company, we got guys that have been there for 25, 20, 25, 30 years. And it's not always about the pay. Pay is adequate. It's certainly, my company is not and, well, I'll just leave it at that. It's good pay. I got no, you know, I've, since in the last 10 years, mm, I bet my wife wouldn't want me to say that. Mm. I make enough to be able to afford to purchase a, a nice house. And I'll say this, I was something else before I was a truck driver for 25, well, 20 years, we'll call it 20 years. I never made this kind of money. Couldn't afford barely a, an apartment. You know, and I'm, I'll say too, that I'm an educated guy. I went to college and graduated. And yeah, I, it's not always wise to follow your heart. Oh, get your education, what you wanna do. You know, no, get a good education and something's gonna make you some money. If I had to do it over again, I'd go back to, uh, and get a business degree in finance and learn how the stock market works. But, you know.
Yeah, I'm almost positive that was honed up on a uh, on a codicle. Very smooth shave, and the blade is quite sharp. I am not disappointed at all, one little bit, in how well the blade is performing. And and the point of that is, is that I don't remember when it was last honed. And this being one of my earliest razors. Yeah, I started off, you know, my first razor was a uh, Dovo Bismarck. My second razor was uh, um, either the uh, the one I used the other day, um, the uh, Bijou de France, uh, Thiers Assard, or it was the uh, Thiers Assard Eagle 5.8 round point. And so, Bismarck. Eagle, Bijou de France, this one, and the Wacker Old Sheffield uh, with my first five razors. I can remember pretty much the order of purchase on those because they're the first ones, you know. All right, where am I at? So tomorrow night I'll be in that Flying J in Pennsylvania, and uh, I th I'm thinking about doing a video of just uh, inside the cab, inside the sleeper, show you how I got my living quarters set up.
38 minutes. Other than what I've already said, I don't have a lot to talk about tonight. It's been a long day, almost 10 hours. That's always another part of it. And the other part of it is truck diving, that is. Finding a place to park at night. When I pulled into the uh, Lowe's truck stop here tonight, it was about 5.15 Eastern, no, no, no. Yes, 5.15 Eastern time. And um, there were four four uh, parking places left for the truck. And so I was able to get one, but if you're not in, by sundown and it was just, the sun was just setting, it was, It was quite dusk when I got stopped. And of course you got the time zones to contend with. Wheels rolling this morning at 0550.
right. After posting my little intro video over there at the, uh, the shaving cadre, uh, I got a question. Uh, well, tell us what your favorite hardware and software is right now. I can't wait to answer that one. But I'm gonna go back to the truck. First, I'm gonna do a head shave off camera. Let's do some touch up here. And then we'll have dinner. I got a As my wife often does, she gives me, you know, good food. I got leftover brisket. I gotta go to the mirror, so bear with me. What else have I got? Brisket. Green bean casserole. Got some uh, mac and cheese. So I got some good dinner for the next, for my trip here. Today is day number two on the road. And it's a two and a half to three days up and two and a half to three days back. I'll give you an idea. Forty-seven minutes. Okay. Well, that's about it. I'll get this. Oh, one more spot. Yeah, I gotta do that.
Yeah, much better. Much better. Okay, I'm going to call it quits right there on this, and for a, <laughs> so much for an abbreviated shave, but we knocked about 10-15 minutes off our normal time, so we'll set this over here, and uh, we're going to do a little bit of video tomorrow on the truck driving, per request. And uh, that's all I got for tonight. Thank you for joining me, and we'll see you later. Thanks. Long Haul Tanker, signing off.